What's up guys, Digital Next, and in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and swipe right and prove it's never too late to find love. I'm on Tinder to find young lovers. <laughs> Tinder's such a wonderful site. You bring people of, of every generation together. The only thing that surprises me right now is that she actually knows how to use Tinder and can work a phone. We'll meet for a drink. If it seems like it's gonna be good, we'll go right up to my apartment. How are you? <laughs> Whoa, Grandma. <laughs> Would you just get off the Titanic or something? What's going on here, lady? <laughs> you gotta respect the hustle. She out here making moves. My name is Hattie, and uh, I'm 83 years old. My girl Hattie out here. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, she really out here using Tinder. Everyone deserves to be happy. Maybe she lost the love of her life on the Titanic and she's just trying to find someone to spend the rest of those few days on this planet Earth with, you know? Someone really special. Yeah. Okay. Look at she, she over here pulling out this lot. <laughs> oh man! You think her grandkids come over like, Grandma, are you on Tinder again? She over here all set up, man. This lady knows how to, not only does she know how to use Tinder, she over here got her tablet on like this Bluetooth laptop thing. My, my grandma still needs help figuring out the router. Patty, 83. Fascinating older beauty is seeking a steady younger friend lover for a shared life of adventure and passion. Where are you trying to go on an adventure to? I don't see us climbing Mount Everest anytime soon. Cause one, one of us is gonna break a hip, Hattie. She should put on her profile, hi, my name's Hattie. They call me the glass cannon. Do you only date younger men? Well, first of all, most men my age aren't around anymore. <laughs> They went down in the Great Zeppelin crash. She's probably like this other guy I liked got buried in a cave and he came back three days later, but he never called me back, so. I've been on Tinder for about eight months. I like the ones with open smiles um, and that look healthy. I like the open smiles. I like to see that they have real teeth, you know? No dentures for this lady. See, now this guy says he's 57. He's probably 26, but he purposely does that. What? Who does that? I'm, I'm really 26, but I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm, I'm close to 60 because I like to collect social security checks. Who does, no one does that. That guy's probably 57. How do you need to, you need to slow your roll. Uh, now this guy, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> he's with his mother. So I don't think that that's a good idea. <laughs> Mom posed, posed with me on Tinder. <laughs> Who thought that would be a good idea? I love younger men because they're in the middle of an achievement, of a goal. There's the excitement of creating. I'm still creating. Hattie, what are you creating besides mothballs and an endless supply of hard candy wrappers on the floor? I don't understand. Inform me what we're doing here, Hattie. This tall guy from Ecuador, he was attracted to me. So I said, okay, let's go. So we go to my apartment. And then after I say to him, by the way, how old are you? 19. <laughs> These foreign guys will give anyone a shot. Sorry, Hattie, you're not my type of gal. Maybe if I was in, more into history and, you know, learning about past events, I'd give you a nice, what is it, a swipe to the right? Okay, so my feet are in and I lie back. This provides circulation for everything and it takes all the stress off. She live with someone? I hope someone checks in on her. I hope no one comes in and finds her hanging upside down like a bat. Maybe, maybe that's why she feels so young. She's literally sucking the life out of younger men. That's the secret, Cap. She, she's absorbing our life force. I was 55 and I put an ad in the paper. We didn't have the internet. <laughs> when you gotta take an ad out in the newspaper just to find love. <laughs> I would like to take an ad out called Hattie the Glass Cannon Looking for Love. What do they have to be interested in? They have to like short walks, oxygen tanks, and hard candy. And th that's, that's good enough for me. The emotional side was bad. I would cry. I would say I so much want that person. And I was carrying on like that for decades. I'm sorry, Hattie. I feel bad. That must have been a lot of decades. Like, I want to feel bad for her, but she balling it out, man. She ain't sad. She out hitting the streets. You see her going to the clubs? Unfortunately, there's not a lot of clubs open at 5 p.m. Because by 9 o'clock, she's already home asleep. So you, you got to hit those clubs early. Okay. Do you like it? you like it, sweetheart? Mm, look at my girl Hattie, looking like a 1970s disco ball. I think I've actually seen that dress in the movie Boogie Nights. Tell me about the day you have coming up tonight. 
His name is Sean. We'll eat, we'll talk, we'll probably kiss. We'll see. But it's sweet. I just thought of a new slogan for her uh, her Tinder profile. Hattie, if you're watching this, you should put, come get a taste of history. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that was so good. <laughs> Hi, Mom. FaceTime, have you ever done it before? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I remember when I saw this in the Jetsons. <laughs> Didn't she call you? What do you mean, FaceTime? Have you ever done this before? She called you. Come on, Hattie. You ain't that old. You gotta keep your mind sharp. So we're standing in front of the restaurant. And there's this guy who I asked a bunch of questions. So I said, are you married? He said, no. I said, will you go on a date with me? He said, yes. My dude taking one for the team. Good job to you, Hattie, that you, you finding people out there. You know, it, times are hard, man. Finding love is hard. So are you ever embarrassed about me? No, uh, once. Once you told me you were in a dorm at NYU and that I thought was pushing the <laughs> I don't know how I would feel if one of my family members did this, especially if my mom was doing this. I'm sorry, mom, I know you watch these videos. Mom, if you were doing this, I would more than likely lock you up in an old folks home. You would be sent away to a private island to live out the rest of your days, not bothering anyone else. This is actually my, one of my first experiences with an older woman such as Hattie. This is one of my first experiences uh, ever with a mummy. I mean, older woman. Uh, she seems like a great gal. I'm just here to see if she can keep up. Go big or go home, Hattie. How are you? <laughs> I would go like, hi Hattie, it's nice to see you. <laughs> she'd have me like a little, she'd have me like some napkins and like some some hard candy. I'm like, oh shoot, a dinner and a treat, thanks. <laughs> you the best Hattie. <laughs> Dang Hattie, where'd you get all them diamonds from? Did you steal them from the Titanic when it sank? Because you're, you're an amazing person, so. Yeah. Yeah, somebody missed out. Hattie, your hands are cold. I don't feel a pulse. <laughs> They're cold to the touch, please. She's definitely an interested person. You have no choice but to run into Hattie. This was fun. This yeah, was fun. I think so. Definitely. I think so. Good night, Hattie. Uh, uh. Ooh, Hattie laying it on, man. Get it, Hattie. You know, if I if I went on a date with Hattie, I would ask her some nice questions like, you know, what's the most interesting thing you've done? What was it like before cars? And it's co cool stuff like that. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and to hit that like button and to turn on that little bell for notifications so you know when I go live or I post a new video. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.